Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number one in my JavaScript series and in this video I'm just gonna introduce you guys to JavaScript but before we do that I actually just need to explain a few things that you guys are going to need before you can follow along with these tutorials and the first thing you guys are gonna need is at least a basic knowledge or a little bit of experience in HTML because if you guys don't know anything about HTML you're going to be completely lost in these tutorials so go ahead and check out my YouTube channel there's going to be a link somewhere around the video and I'll leave a link in the description below and uh, just go to my YouTube channel and you'll be able to see that I've got uh, 47 videos so there's number tutorial number 47 47 videos on how to write a web page in HTML so it starts right from the beginning all the way up to actually uploading your web page onto the server so here's the first video uh, it's currently my uh, show, uh, trailer video and then all the way up to the final video tutorial number 47 uh, which is just how to upload your video to a web host so go ahead and watch those videos and then you should be good to go for this series but the next thing you're also going to need is just a text editor now if you've followed along with these videos then you should have this text editor on your computer it's called notepad plus plus that's what I use that's what I recommend you guys use I'll leave a link in the description below on where to download this and then you guys can go ahead and get started and uh, the third thing we're going to need is we're actually going to need a good browser preferably a browser that has an error console which is this thing over here if I click on tools web developer error console that is Mozilla Firefox's error console and this thing is actually going to be our best friend when it comes to routing JavaScript because if you ever have any errors it'll show up in our error console over here so make sure to download Firefox and you'll be able to follow along and check for any JavaScript errors in your error console so go ahead and download that and then the next thing that I recommend you guys do is just go over to my forum there's a link on my YouTube channel and I'll also leave a link in the description below go to my YouTube channel which is I mean my forum sorry which is forum.programmerscreed.com and uh, you guys can log in and sign up and log in and then uh, just go ahead and post your an introduction to yourself so we can all get to know you and then maybe just follow along with uh, these or follow along with these tutorials and uh, you can get the code from these tutorials in my forum I'll post the code for every tutorial in the forum and then uh, what you can do from there is maybe just ask if you have any questions ask them in the forum because you know that's what the forum is there for guys it's there for to answer your questions so uh, yeah basically sign up on the forum that's just like the fourth thing you have to do and now what we can do is just go ahead and continue explaining what JavaScript is so if you're new to programming you've probably heard of a programming language called Java and now obviously you've heard of this programming language called JavaScript okay these are two entirely different languages some people confuse them for the same programming language they're not they are two completely different programming languages guys I just had to uh, make that clear and then now let me just explain what JavaScript is and that is JavaScript is the most popular client-side scripting language at the moment so by client-side scripting language what I mean is that all of the code gets executed on the client's computer or the user's computer so if you guys don't understand let's go ahead and just check out this image okay now this is basically how we use the internet every day okay you'll go to your computer you being the client okay so this is the client's computer and you'll try log on to a web page now seeing as Twitter is in the picture we might as well just use Twitter as an example so you go to Twitter 
what happens is your computer sends through a request to the server and then the server sends a response back to your computer so there are two different types of scripting languages okay there's the client script client side scripting language which happens here on your computer which is what javascript is and then you've got server side scripting languages which happen here on the server like php and that kind of thing so obviously this tutorial is or this tutorial series is on javascript so we only really worrying about what happens here and basically what we can do with javascript over here on the server i mean on the client is we can use javascript to change the appearance of a web page after it has been loaded okay you can't do that with a server side scripting language and you can't do that with a static html document so if you've watched my html videos then you'll know that every time you make a change you have to go up there click refresh and then only the website changes and you can't change it again after that that's it that's what's displayed but if you're using javascript you can have animations of like sliding images and that kind of stuff so that's one thing that we use javascript for and the next thing is we'll use javascript to turn our static web pages into actual applications such as calculators or even games okay now for now we'll just uh, focus on the basic JavaScript stuff so that differs a lot from server-side programming or server-side scripting because server-side scripting is where you'll actually um, connect to a database and have shopping carts and search engines and web-based mail programs and that kind of thing so they have two completely different purposes but they actually get used very often together okay so you won't have only client-side scripting or only server-side scripting you'll often use both of them together and uh, there's a technology called Ajax which actually actually uses them asynchronously so JavaScript asynchronously with a server-side scripting language and that is pretty much how Facebook and Twitter and all of those websites are actually run so you need to you learn both JavaScript and a server-side programming language so now that you guys know what uh, JavaScript is let's take a look at including that into our web page so I'm gonna go over to notepad plus plus and basically this is our template that we're gonna be using for the rest of the tutorials if you've watched my HTML videos then you'll know exactly what all of this stuff means uh, the only difference is I'm using a shorter meta tag than I was in my HTML videos uh, just because it's less work and less to remember so that's the only reason why I'm using that shorter one and I should probably go ahead and close that off cool and then I've just included this attribute here in my opening HTML tag which says lang equals en that just means that my website's written in English okay so that's pretty much the document and now what we can do is just include our script tags or JavaScript into our web page okay so what we do is we open up a script tag and obviously we have to close that again so ending script and now this means that we're using a scripting language so we're telling the browser okay we're using a scripting language on our website but what scripting language are we using well we're using JavaScript so let's go ahead and say type equals text slash JavaScript okay now JavaScript because it is the most common client-side scripting language you don't have to include this attribute but it's probably better if you do in case you're worried about all the browsers and that kind of thing so just go ahead and include that attribute just in case and now what we can do is we'll just type in a basic statement which is document dot write uh, sorry I made a spelling mistake there document dot write and we'll say hello world okay and I'm gonna explain what the statement does uh, maybe in the next video but for now let's just write that and then test this in our browser so run launch in Firefox 
and uh, we can probably close those tabs and you can see what we've got here is we've got the words hello world printed out into our browser okay and if we go back to notepad plus plus you can see we don't have the words hello world put in our body over here so it's actually grabbing the words from this instruction here this statement called uh, document.write hello world so that's where it got that from and I'm actually going to explain what this does in the next video because we're kind of short on time and this is quite a lot to explain so I will see you guys next time thank you for watching don't forget to sign up on my forum and uh, don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like my videos and I will see you guys in the next video